Hey guys, this is Justin with Ready Business Systems. So we have a lot of uh, collection policies in place, things to proactively uh, prevent having to go to collections is the best way, uh, honestly. But And then obviously ways that if you end up in that situation to get your money. So, uh, you know, by taking credit card, we avoid a lot of collections issues and being proactive in getting people's money quickly. Uh, if we can't get their money, you know, their credit card gets declined, you know, already that's gonna, uh, credit card's gonna help prevent a lot of collection issues. But if that happens, we then send them off to a collection agency, which will send them a series of letters. Uh, it's called American Profit Recovery. It'll send them a series of letters, costs about 17 bucks. Uh, they'll send them four letters. If they don't pay by that, then they go into like a more, they call it tier two, a more aggressive collections uh, campaign uh, where they'll take 50% of whatever they get. They'll start calling them, doing whatever they need to get the money. But if someone slips through that crack too, simply by writing a letter to the collection company, uh, you know, that I strongly disagree with this and they make any sort of threat for suit or suing the collection company, the collection company immediately backs off and hands it back to you. At which point you're left with, with uh, two decisions. One is to continue to pursue it uh, by means of small, small claims court uh, or to write off the, the amount. So I've only gone to this length a handful of times and every time it's not worth it. But at the same time, when a client gets to that point and you know you provided them with legitimate services, they signed off and everything and uh, you know they just don't end up paying, they somehow circumnavigate your system, they do a charge back in their credit card, that sort of thing. There are ways to, for them to be back in control of the money. Uh, out of principle, I've sent a, a few people, brought a couple people a small claims court. Uh, what happens there is that, you know, usually they don't want to deal with it in the courthouse. They'll send you to arbitration where they'll give kind of a mediator and have you guys uh, negotiate basically on, um, on a settlement. So all the times I've done this, it's not worth it, except that I take it as a learning experience. You know, I guess it's a bit of an ego thing. Uh, and it's also mostly in principle, you know, this guy should pay, you know, he's beat all of our systems and he should pay. We did the work, he should pay. So in this instance, you know, a guy owed us 1800 bucks. He wanted to pay 700 bucks. I spent three hours in the morning of my morning to go up there and meet with him. Uh, besides the time my office lady spent to get things together, um, spent 200 bucks, 100 bucks to file small claims, another 100 bucks to have the, the, the paperwork served to him, and ended up getting 1100 bucks. So basically, I made 100 bucks in like 10 hours. So completely not worth it from a financial perspective. And to be honest, I'm probably going to stop doing it. Just just suck it up and just let it go. Um, but the, th the good thing is I try to look at everything as a learning experience. So I've had, um, you know, every boat, every time I've gone, I've, I've learned something. And you learn something about seeing things in another person's perspective. At the end of the day, I still don't really respect any of the people I've brought in. And I still don't think that highly of them. But you see kind of some of their uh, their perspective on it. And in this case, uh, this guy, you know, I and I've learned too, you know, um, based on other instances to make your verbiage very, very clear in your contract. But every single time there's some confusion with a customer, I always rewrite our, our agreements and our contracts uh, to make it even more clear, as clear as possible. So there's nothing I would change based on this last experience of small claims that I brought this guy in in terms of our verbiage. He signed off on it. He owes the money. Um, but you know, he's an older guy. So I had two takeaways basically that I'd like to share with you. One is that, you know, older generation, you know, there's advantages to being electronic, doing everything online, but a lot of the older generation isn't used to that. And they're still used to having things done in person, uh, handed to them, read to them, explain to them, meet with someone in person. Whereas obviously that's not, not the model of, uh, of new age businesses uh, for the most part. So that's one thing, you know, so when we do up, end up in that situation, they may not be our model customer and, you know, might be better off just to let it go or lean in their favor and forget about it. Uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, looking at things from other people's perspectives. So in my perspective, excuse me, uh, with landscaping, I've been doing this for a while and we get burned a lot. You know, people like to take advantage of landscapers, especially people with money. You know, they want you to come in, do something for nothing, and they want to be able to uh, to get away with that. Uh, 
So, you know, you'll have them come in when the grass is two feet tall and they want you to cut it for 50 bucks and they never have you come back again. So, you know, once you have that done to you for a few times, if you haven't, I'm sure you will. Uh, but that's not fun. It doesn't make you feel good. And you take measures to prevent that. And we have verbiage now to protect us against those things happening. Uh, but one thing I didn't think of, um, at one point during the arbitration, the guy's wife brought up that, you know, we have a big house and, you know, they thought that they could get whatever they could out of us, which isn't true, but based on their experiences, they've, they've been taken advantage by contractors because they have money. So you can kind of see both ends of it. So that kind of opened my eyes uh, in that way as well. Uh, but it was, it was a friendly uh, arbitration and we shook hands and we're well and good and over it. It definitely is not worth the time to bring people to small claims for $2,000. Um, if it was a larger amount, A, we wouldn't be in that situation because we would have taken deposits and that sort of thing. This was an hourly post-pay type of thing. Um, but it totally is not worth the time. Uh, it is a learning experience. I don't regret the, the three times I've gone. Uh, but I, I, I think I'm going to stop doing it. It's just not worth it. Um, and once you learn what you can out of it, I learned some things from the other experiences as well. Uh, you know, it's just not worth doing it financially. So anyway, that's our, that's our system for collections. I think it is, once it gets to a certain point, unless it's over a large amount, we're not even going to bother with the small claims. Uh, but you know, very, very few accounts end up in that position. It's going to be like 1% or less of our accounts at this point with our other systems in place. So it's just totally not worth the time. Uh, but I wanted to share those experiences with you. So anyway, I'll catch you guys next time.